Hey guys, Chris and Gina here, and we are in the Crypt Chambers with Matt and Count Stankus. Yes, Stankus. Count Stankus. <laughs> and we are going to walk you through their special haunt in their crypt. So come with us. I feel like we're a choir right now, getting ready to sing an enigma song. <laughs> It's all of a sudden, oh, it that's changes. right. When you when you go into the crypt chambers, your voice, your voice changes. changes. Your voice but when you step out, you're normal. Changes. But when you step I'm back dead. in. So guys, I'm Count Stangus. Matt, Matt Strange. Strange. We're here in the crypt chambers. The crypt chambers, my home hunt. That's been doing for a while, and my buddy Matt jumped in not that long ago, four four years or so. Kicked yes. up a notch quite a bit. And we're here with Hollywood Haunter. Yes. Cool YouTube page with uh, Chris and Gina and Harrison Ford. <laughs> we want to show you guys our home haunt that we do, and we're at the entrance of the Crypt Chamber. If I get out of the way, as you walk yes. up, you'll be greeted by my lovely wife, who's not here right now. And, but her spirit uh, is. Her spirit is here. Yes. She's. Yes. So Her she, spirit is in babysitting right now. So she, she will make the decision whether or not you are uh, a toddler or not. Okay. So if you are a toddler, you don't have to come in. Okay. You don't have to do anything. You need your candy and leave. So, but if you are at least a day or an hour or a second or a minute old. above a toddler, <laughs> old, above a toddler, you, you have to go through to get candy. Nothing free comes from me. No. <laughs> so if I give first, I scare, we try to scare you and then you can come through. But this is the entrance to script chambers. You'll come up this lovely... I don't know, it's a tombstone maybe, I'm not sure what it is, but it's pretty awesome. Now where did you get this prop? This Halloween store was only um, around for, I want to say, five or so years. I got this, I got a, a bunch of stuff from that store. But I assumed you guys like made this. No, no, I walked so in the store, this is more, <laughs> well more than 10 years ago. We're I'm talking, crafty, I'm not that crafty. <laughs> yeah, this is probably 2005, six. I don't know. And I walked in and I was like, I want it. How much is yeah, it? I didn't care. The first uh, Halloween I had a problem with it. It kept falling over. So as you can see, there's a wooden base to it, and I put this wire on it years ago. I should probably fix it and make it better. Um, it's old school a little bit, but you don't really see the wire. But it, it holds it down for falling over from the wind. If this splits apart right here, what keeps that together? Is it plug in? Oh, it just plugs in. Bam. Ooh. And we are not totally done, so you're going to get most of what's happening. Okay. Um, Normally we Some have, flavor. Yeah, normally we have a couple uh, of black cloths that go across both ways that block the entrance and exit. This is the exit, this is the entrance. So you can't see in. It also keeps all the smoke and all the Halloween fog. Yes. All the smelling Halloween fog. But if you come this way, you enter the crypt chambers. Yes. As you enter through, you can get yourself farther and deeper in. You shall yes, find come, yourself. Come in, come in. Yes, come in. You find yourself over here, you got a lovely little coffin with the. Cor rotting corpse, maybe someone was reading, I don't know, maybe uh, some interesting story oh, about. Uh -oh. You did? Oh, damn you! Right. <laughs> <laughs> we got something weird going on here, I don't know. There's a lot of witchery and strange occult going on. There's a book here. I'm not sure what it's about, but there is a tarot card Chapter on Chapter 7 In the dark gate was open. Samael said to me in a whisper, I know what you did last summer. He tried a beer! <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Honey bunch, the first days of the song. <laughs> I don't, yeah. <laughs> it's, no one's gonna read like the title. Right? Now, where did he get this coffin at? Has he had this coffin for a while? He has had this coffin for a while. Um, it's it's falling apart. It's just a. Uh, He's got a gaff tape, like the scenes yeah, gaff. It's so it's just a, it's just some Lou on wood yeah. that's been cut, and then he's, they've got it mm -hmm. taped in the corners. It's a little flimsy. So yeah, like it's definitely not strong enough to stand up on its, it's not end. Not strong enough to be buried. In. No. One of the first areas of scare, because we do have three scare spots in the haunt, is right behind you over here, and on the side over here is really cool. We call it the bookshelf of skies. And I don't pop out at you as you walk oh, Okay. The idea is, you, is we want you to come in, we want you to see what we've done. We're proud of what we did. However low grade, uh, amateur level or pro it is, we want you to come see what we did and, and yeah. immerse yourself into the hunt. Yeah. So maybe about right here, if there's three or four people, the last person about right here, then I will pop out in my whatever corner. mask I have on. Yes. And scare the hell out of you or whatever it is. And that way you move forward. Okay. You don't stay here for two He minutes. literally says, okay. you need to move forward. 
<laughs> it's very scary. Like LAX style. I work at LAX. So this is a really cool area over here. One of the first chambers. Uh, I don't know what happened to this guy, but he is... Uh, well, he's been chained up he's for been a chained reason. Up we don't for know many, what many the years. reason is. And off the side over here, I don't know if it's a, if a coffin of, of his son that died when he was maybe... Maybe it was one of the... Uh, it might be his chihuahua. It might be his chihuahua. That's a... Uh, needy looking dude. I didn't even <laughs> notice him down there yeah. with the lights off. That's my bathroom. <laughs> That's where he came from, huh? <laughs> yeah. I left the, uh, the corpse in there and also I heard this, uh, what the hell? We had this guy over here kind of hanging out. It looks like maybe he's had way too many. I don't know. Yes. Well, maybe he was trying to maybe. escape his face. Well, he's, I think he's trying to escape the toilet guy next well, to him. <laughs> with, yeah, well, <laughs> what is this material, this black all, material that you have? It's all bed sheets everywhere. Oh. He's got to pull them down and put them on his bed later tonight. So <laughs> This area over here, we want to kind of get us. It's very subtle, nice, clean, uh, not much going on. There's a little kitty Why up is there. Why his back turned? <laughs> <laughs> because he's tired of looking at the Ouija board. Because yeah. we're, uh, <laughs> we removed his cat box for the creation of this haunt. This guy's just hanging around. <laughs> Is that the smell of fog I smell? I see the souls rising. rising I'll eat meat to cerveza. <laughs> the spirits have been channeled from the board of the weeds. I see, and how did you do this with these spirits? Oh, it's right. First, we uncovered this corpse. Who just happened to have carnal knowledge of the Ouija board? Oh. Lots of cash. Must be a family member of Milton Bradley or Parker Brothers. <laughs> this is Milton himself! <laughs> Back that way. I'm not sure what's going on, but it is definitely Dark Mother, give us a sign. Skeleton doing some strange thing with the Ouija board. Tell us the Conjuring. future. Tell us, please. That you sir. see betwixt the veil of eternity and this level of reality. That's a little too much. Oh, is this know. what you call the Ouija tree? <laughs> He does, that's what but it, it, he could be. <laughs> if I leave it up I all year round, that. it's my Ouija tree. So that's a new thing that, that Home Depot's gonna make money off of. Right yes. There. That's the first Ouija tree, and we own it, it's trademark, sorry. But um, this guy is great, so this is the first time we've done this guy. He's uh, he's a very cool, uh, demented, strange guy with some, a couple tarot cards, but mostly Ouija board. He's actually offering you a chance to do the Ouija board with him. So if you wanna play a game, go right ahead as you're here. Now do you think that a lot of people will take up the I opportunity so, to do but that? There's Always, you never know, some strange, odd folk that... Uh, Will they get two pieces of candy? <laughs> no. They, no. If you actually Unless successfully it, communicate with the dead, you'll learn a second piece of Tootsie <laughs> You know, I don't know why, but every time I see uh, tarot cards, I always think of uh, the, the James Bond... Yeah, yeah, movie, you right. know the old mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, which one? Live and Let Die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I always I, like like the like the whole James Bond song starts up in my head yeah. and the and yeah. the and the, the Seven Up guy. He would crack <laughs> open a Seven Up and go. Ha, ha, ha. I love these lights. I mean, it worked out pretty good for twenty dollars. Like twenty bucks. You gotta be kidding me. And you guys built this little box yeah, or yeah, shroud. Yeah, take a box, to... spray painted it, put yeah. some gaffing tape around the outsides of it, the edges, and call it a day. Is, is... Uh, there is a red light back right up over here, as you can see. That's nice. So that thing's just a battery it's, it's, operated it's just, flashlight. It, it's just a flashlight with a red lens on it, and it gives it just the right amount of red light on it, keeps yep. it dark enough. So if you, if you turn the light off, I mean, obviously your camera won't pick it up, yeah. but to, to your eyes, yeah. all you see is that guy looking down at you. If I had the opportunity to take everything else garage and paint the entire thing black, I would do it. Ooh, that's an idea for all I of you out there. It, paint your garage black. Yes. Ooh. Yes. He's summoning you to the bathroom. And by the way, if you guys buy Creeper Pop, never, never buy it offline. Never buy it at Target. Dada! It's a place called Dollar Tree. It's a baller. It may be not be as good, it's just, it, but it's, it's good enough. Yep. Go to the wall, you can buy a pile like that for 20 bucks. <laughs> I love your delivery there. You go to this place called Dollar Tree. Dollar <laughs> Tree. It's a dollar. It's amazing. <laughs> it's the same thing with the fake cobwebs, right? Doesn't like Home Depot and look, they it's sell too it. It's expensive. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This white stuff will go across the top just in this area. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. So when you walk in, you're like, holy crap. You know, you're coming in. Yeah. yeah. Last year we did it and it was, it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people were like, what are we walking into? <laughs> but we didn't talk about sound yet. Do you have several speakers? This well, 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 is powered well, by us. Whoa. Whoa. Right over here. And, and this is thanks, <laughs> th th mostly thanks to Matt. Matt has this, this head down here. 
and he has four speakers. So okay. when I first started doing this, I used to use just a crappy uh, boom box with some speakers. It was and, yeah. And so we got this head that he, or his head that he brought over, not his head. Well, not but my his, head, but this his <laughs> head, <laughs> this onkyo. And, uh, and then I, I went to uh, the good, the, one of the best places on the planet, the Goodwill, and bought some poor souls CD player. Okay. By the way, for a whopping twelve bucks. I'd be Whoa. remiss if I didn't mention Joe and Shane. Joe who hooked me up with yeah. the head unit, and my buddy Shane who hooked me up with the speakers. God yeah. bless y'all. You are making yeah. the day of the dead happen? Well, so, I mean Halloween or whatever it is. We have a, we, <laughs> we you know we went on uh, Amazon. We got what hundred feet of cable for for like what ten bucks I think it costs. It's like it's really yeah. nothing. Everything you hear in here is mono. Every speaker has the same. It's sound. mono. It's the yeah. same sound. So. You have this corner right behind you. Okay. And then when you walk in, there's one in the front and one back over that way. Okay. One, one is in each corner of the garage. So this place okay. can get so, loud. So, I mean, when you, when you have it up, <laughs> a decent volume. Oh, yeah. And you walk all the way through from the, from the outside, work your way through. It, it sounds awesome. It sounds really good. Yes. I mean, every haunter knows sound is very important. It's Absolutely. Yes. So... Absolutely, you guys. Yeah. Well, that's that in itself. That at that volume level is scary. We get to the next base for scare. We'll have another. We don't oh. use actors here. We have friends. Okay. Have friends hangs out in here, and he scares a hell out of uh, someone. Maybe doing something a little like this, just reaching out like that with a glove, a scary glove. And at the same time, that guy also will animate this area right here. We got a flashlight over here too, huh? Yeah, how how that, long do these typically last when you leave them on like this? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yeah, this is the light that makes it move. All right. It doesn't want to move. Oh, probably because I'm shining a light on it. I bet I'm messing it all up. So did you put like a, a gel on there? Or how'd you um, get it to be blue? There, I used to find lights for camping or whatever they were with these with these uh, orange, red, or blue lenses. And it has a little plastic piece that keeps it on. So just a little shake of this light. And the spirits are among us! The oh, are it's spelling out O N M L M L K J no, I think it's wrong. Okay, it's not spelling a word. Summon come at the no. frog! Summon <laughs> what what are you saying? It was like six yellows hit and what said I ship what okay. this corpse is forced to bear witness to the Ouija. The reading of the Ouija is like, no, no, I shouldn't do it again, no, no! no. Yes. <laughs> no! Make it go round. It's amazing. It's magic. What's it spelling? It's spelling. Get. It's spelling your reaper. You guys More should. Beer, obviously. Oh! <laughs> the, the idea this guy is shackled up. Why over Ouija board? Don't know, but it's pretty sick. I don't no, know. I, I love it. And we have this impaled guy. I don't know if Vlad the Impaler Dracula. Impaled I like guy. it. We call that the Britney Spear. The Britney Spear. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to hang around baby one more time. Well, that was a good point. <laughs> that was oh! oh! You might say the poison was very toxic. Did you build this? No. I found it's the same store I got the thing from the front. Okay. The same family store I was telling you about. That's I awesome. That. Oh, yeah. I it's love it. very fragile as hell. I mean, okay. I can't believe it's lasted. Did you add the blood or was the blood? No, it was already it was already like that. She's, She's here. She is here. Grandma the witch is, is back. Here. If you guys ever seen our videos, the witch is here. We Grandma's the witch. back in a new way. And <laughs> Matt, Matt will explain this. The witch. Some say she's been among us for many years. I see her in my dreams. Beautiful visage. The lustrous candle that she holds with the little thing that we affix to her hand. She's delicious, isn't she? In life, her name was Eleanor Thiespiel. She was a proud mother of seven cats. I bought that at a car dealership that went defunct and was turned into a Halloween store the following year. It was sitting on the top oh, of where man. a... So a car, a car would have been like on display, but she was on top of there. I'll never forget it. Come That's on back, car! Come on down, back, car! Come on! Back, car! Your soul is mine! I don't remember Cal Worthington ever taking yeah, that. We <laughs> gotta do a, month, like a, a zombie version of Cal Worthington. We gotta do that. Yes. That, that, that's awesome. That, that, that's next week. Cal. This year's haunt is gonna be Cal Worthington, the zombie haunt. What I'm thinking is that like, just minutes before, the person turned the corner to witness Granny the Witch 
There was like a, a seance, like summoning ritual thing happening. Bam! Put it in a circle. I messed it up. I always mess up the cold circles. But remember, keep in mind, we're gonna have the big wind blower, the leaf blower thing. Like the wind yes. Blower, so the weed, the weed blower, so explain the weed, the weed blower. No, sorry, the weed. <laughs> so explain about the weed, the the leaf blower prop, <laughs> the weed blower. Well, it's an it amazing thing. You guys can buy online still today. Go on YouTube. Go YouTube. No, go on uh, eBay, go on Amazon. It's a little remote control. You turn things on and off. It has a box. You connect it to your out output on the wall. The power, little control. Plug stuffing into it. Turn things on and off. This use is the your, creepiest it, home improvement. Yeah. Video. Use your leaf blower. <laughs> use an electric <laughs> leaf blower. An electric leaf blower. Yes. Hook it up to it. Yes. You stand 20 feet away and turn it on and off. Scare the hell out of your friends. Yeah, you, who mom, needs an air compressor kids? and air props That's when right. you can just plug a leaf blower into a, a leaf blower. on off? I've been doing it for years. Out of the elements, yes. channeled through a tube of PVC flask. Yes. Because <laughs> not only do you have the air scaring, but you have the, the sound. Sound. The sound. Scaring. Because it's not the sound of a leaf blower. You guys will probably know where the guy just walks around. No, it's it's a scary. Like, no, that is very no. scary at like seven in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Seven in the morning. Oh my god! No, it's not scary. It pisses you off when you've had way too many Samuel Adams. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this haunt is beer powered. Yes, yes. So I are. had to be very careful not to knock them over as I walk <laughs> through the props. <laughs> beer powered. Get you. Get you. If there is a theme to the crypt, I think it only makes sense that the outro should close with a bang. You know, uh, always. Of Absolutely. All of scares, we really need to end off on a, a solid note. That's and, right. Uh, sometimes more is not always the best way to go. So you can have a really poignant, evocative scene. Absolutely. That is not filled to the brim with skeletons and blood yes. and gore all over the place. So what we've done here at the outro for Crypt Chambers 2018 is put on display our favorite statuette, our favorite doll. Which we've affectionately titled Grandma. It's the witch of the. the it's of the, it's the, the witch the of the crypt chamber. The main and villain. She may not be it's. corporeal. She may need some ingredient. Your fear, your sweat, your tears, maybe your hope. Maybe. <laughs> what is it like being in the crypt chambers? <laughs> what? See, he's there not even scared. Oh, two of them now. <laughs> now I heard that there might be a scare space right here. Yes. It's a scared hide. There is. Right there. Right through there. It's where Matthew Strange will live. He has his little carcass come out and scare it's the so kids. Haunt in there. And the kids, they get scared. Filled with Sam Adams. Yes. <laughs> yep. You gotta get yourself a little chair and make yourself comfortable, right? Oh, I have my beers. Oh, okay. You don't need to no. stack the beers up. <laughs> like. I'm back here. I detect, I detect that the people are walking past. Okay. I saw your soul, you heathen! And then I'll drink the beer. Can I be it, a scare actor? It might even be more scary, but I just go like this. If I just go like this, I go... <laughs> I spend my 401k on Star Wars figures. <laughs> He's got like, kind of a creep show kind of thing. I just love the creepy cloth. We love the creepy cloth. You slap some creepy cloth on something, guess what? It gets creepy. <laughs> yes, it this does. It's kind of creepy. More creepy. There'll be more guys like this. Yeah. Hanging around. And he'll just oh. kind of blend in this guy. But you won't know which one is This real, one actually but... will, will be popped out by Matt and he'll voice it. We were going to do four this year. It didn't work out because it's just not big enough. If we did four of them, it would have been too much. <laughs> Thunder is Thompson, no. There he is. Oh, there's, yeah. a, there's a scare actor right there. Mm. Rah! He's all, that's a bright light. <laughs> the booger in his nose is kind of scary. <laughs> this thing, this came from Target. Really? Back in like the late 80s, super early 90s when they sold awesome stuff. Why is this vulture's eyes oh. taped over? Because he's seen too much. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's like, I'll, I'll work in your hunt, man, as long as I don't have to look. The eyes are very bright. So it's a little that bit makes sense. It subdues him a little bit. I always thought his crow sounded like I have the title of Dun. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. The secret vault of the crypt chamber! It's open! I have read it now! How many people do you send through That's at a time? time? So it's, oh. not, it's not a big, it's, it's not bigger, but it's, it's, this place could be big if you thought you'd have open mind. It, yes. There's a lot going on here. So roughly four or so. Wow, you'll send four or so? Maybe. Okay. It, it's, 
That's yeah, personal. Yeah, okay. If, if there's ten of you, you're not all going together. I'm sorry. If you want to come through the crib chambers, you um, obviously have to be alive. No, you don't have to be alive. But, but <laughs> you you need to yes. be um, roughly a minute or a day older than a toddler. To, to, no, you actually, you can, anybody can come through, but in order to get your candy, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm double backing here. Yes. You have to be at least a minute or a day older than a toddler. Okay. So, so I don't care. I'm yes. sorry, I'm going to sound Those, are, those are the haunt rules. I don't care how, <laughs> if you're a little kid, if you are a real toddler, yeah. no problem. You want to come through? Great. If you yep. don't, here's your candy. Yep. But if you're a day older, a minute, a minute. second. Do you card them? I mean, how do, how do we know these things? I know. I know that I I, I know. know I know I might I know. lie and so say I'm going to make you go through it and I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> and there is no I've been to haunts where they say, Do you want medium or soft or hard haunt? No, you're gonna get it the whole way. <laughs> People want to scare. Them. Yes. And yes. we yes. owe it to them, I think. You know, yes. they're yes. making the effort to come out here. And it's like, okay, sure, we got some lights, we got some skeletons, but how do we put the fear? Of the dark power in you. Yes. I mean, make, first them, we start, make them work for that candy. Yeah. <laughs> we knew from the get go. It's like, okay, you're going through the crypt. Like, let's not incur a lawsuit, right? Let's make sure we start. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good gone. thing, you guys. Let's make sure we're not, like, you know, starting fist fights in here. Yes. And so, obviously, you're going to maximize your scare if you've got great subject matter to work with. And that's where yes. the occult stuff comes in, which is honestly. Right. It's a great subject matter for people. Because you can, if you off. freak out the parents, then it reciprocates down yeah. to the children. Well, well, we were talking about <laughs> You know, some people, some parents, you know, that raise their kids and say, don't play with Ouija board. Don't play don't with play tarot. It. You know, it, it's, it's not real. No. But no, don't we, ever do it. No, but don't. We encourage it here. We encourage it. Actually, <laughs> like, sell them on the way out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's these things that can incur yeah. uh, communication with the unknown, with the other side. And this garage, come Halloween, becomes a gateway portal to Ooh. all of that. That's what we're doing over here. I'm yes. glad that it happens on Halloween and yeah. not tonight. That's right. That's right. So then once they exit out of the haunt, is that when they, That's uh, when they get, get their, a piece of candy? Their, their special treat. They They're get their candy. Yeah. So we have a whole cauldron, a really cool cauldron that, that I found. And it's, it's, is it, is it's, it a real it's, cauldron or like it's just a big plastic cauldron? It's not your cheap old like the old school ones, the yeah. thin ones. No, this is an awesome. Oh, it's wow, not a that's... real one. Yeah, but okay. it's it's close. <laughs> it's like Two hundred pound cast. No, 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 no. But a friend of mine reminded me the other day something I totally forgot about from Halloween, and I might buy some of this just for the kids that are maybe not nice. Yeah. Do you remember the little little, uh, little boxes of raisins? Oh yeah. Halloween? Yeah. Really, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Did you want those? <laughs> No. <laughs> no. You guys do, I mean, you do amazing. You do awesome. Well, I appreciate for, that. For the amount of space that you have, you guys have the you have the right amount of props. You have a good amount that you can actually experiment with, play with, and you've done a really awesome job. As the host, it's your responsibility to do it in the most respectful way, but also, you know, to give it your all. Not necessarily in a way where you're, uh, you know, trying to cause a heart attack, but share what scares you, you yes. know, share what scares you. Yes. And I think in doing that, by getting the blood pumping a little bit, it wakes people up, you yeah. know, and they're rewarded with that. And they go, oh my God. So throughout the years, we've heard people who walk through and they go, wow, I was not expecting that. You know, These people that came in here just to kind of pass some time, right. they get woken up in a way yes. where they go, whoa, like this was really kind of a, a thing. And it's very simple. It's just a quick circuit. It's simple, garage. but they but but I think that when you walk in here, people realize the amount of effort and hard work you did put into it. Yeah, it, mm, you have oh. a new you have a new scent in the crypt. Oh, oh, no. oh man! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Whoa! All right, you guys. So that was the crypt chamber. It was. Thank you so much both for showing us around. Yes. yes. If you guys would like to see more of the Crypt Chambers. Which you know you do. Yes. You can go to. Town Stink Us on YouTube. That's right. Town Stink Us. Yes. Or oh, check out Toy Room of the Strange on the Instagrams for more pictures yes. of the Crypt Chambers. Yes. You can also check out our Crypt Chambers, The Crypt Chambers on Facebook. And you can also join the Count Stink Us. Facebook page or 
whatever you want to do. It's too much, too much uh, advertisement here today. It's yes, too, much too much advertisement. Social media. Hey, links are down below in this video. They'll put them there. Yes, yes we will. We will. will put the links. Okay. Well, you heard it there, folks. Goodbye. Happy haunting. Yes. <laughs> 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 And now your daughter knows why we came. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow, people here. It's some weird Thank you so people. much.